welcome to my site code diaries this is the uh, next episode of our supportive pages in last video we have seen uh, about the solar introduction in this this is the continuation of the last video and now in this video we will be seeing installation of a solar and the uh, demo of a solar admin portal so let me introduce myself i am jitendra ghanekar i am in site core architect so let's start so let's see how to install the uh, solar for further installation of the solar first thing which you will need is the java sdk so this is the url i will be providing the uh, url in the uh, uh, description okay uh, so from this uh, website you have to download the uh, uh, java sdk okay and this will be after downloading this other uh, this will be look like this and, and you have to install that okay so once you installed it then the next step is to update the uh, environment variable java underscore home okay uh, in, in your uh, uh, desktop or in, in your laptop okay so first thing is you search the environment variable in the start menu you will get this kind of option okay system properties where you can click on the uh, environment variables okay once you click on an environment variable you will get this kind of a window okay where you have to add java underscore home at uh, two places first is this part and second is the uh, system variable so in both cases you have to click on the new and then you have to add the variable name as java underscore home okay and then the variable path so this is the path where your java is installed so before uh, go, uh, updating this just note down your path and then you have to update it okay so once you update it then go to the command prompt run it into the admin portal and run the query uh, run go to the path of your uh, uh, java sdk like here i have a c program file java sdk uh, hyphen 19 slash bin so uh, go to that path and run java hyphen version okay so once you run that it will show you which version of a java it is java sdk is installed okay so this is the prerequisite first two step you have to do it uh, uh, before actually installing the solar the next step is the uh, installation of the solar okay so for this uh, you have to go to the solar apache download uh, uh, website so this is the path again i will be providing that in the description okay from there you can download whatever the version which you want to uh, install on your machine okay once you download the next step is the extract the downloaded zip folder so whatever the folder zip folder you are downloaded you extract it and paste it where you want solar to be installed okay that is your next step step fourth will be uh, run the command prompt in admin mode okay and go to the solar bean path so first of all we see let's say you have copied that path here okay so uh, i see solar 881.2 okay so if you go to that path go to the bin folder so this is the path where you have to run the solar so copy that path okay this path and then go to the your uh, admin uh, sorry command prompt which you have run it in the administrator mode and there you you go to the that path and then run solar start okay so solar start is is the command which will help you to start the solar okay the the this will install your uh, solar it will run your solar on uh, port 8983 okay but in case it is in use like in my uh, laptop it was used for the other the solar reverse instance so i want to change the port so in that case what you have to do is you have to write solar start minus p 8994 so that is my port okay so whatever port you want to use use it you click on that and then uh, it will it will start the solar and the important thing is uh, to see that happy searching uh, if it was installed it will show you happy searching so that means it is installed okay so this is solar start minus p and then port is your uh, command to start the uh, po uh, start the solar on not on the default port but the uh, the uh, the if you want to use the id at the other port okay and if you want to stop it is simply solar stop okay uh, remember this will install your uh, solar in the http board okay it is it will run on http 
for sidecore users we have to write it sidecore on the https for that i think it on my installation uh, video uh, sidecore installation video i have already provided the the link where you can you can uh, uh, it is explained that how you can convert uh, how you can add the uh, sign uh, certificate okay for the solar so i will provide that video link also here okay so once you install and start the solar and you you browse the uh, the solar url that is your localhost and whatever port on which your solar is running then you will see this kind of uh, ui so this is your solar admin portal we will see a uh, few things in the this uh, portal how we can use it so first of all let's see what are the different options which you are having in the solar you see here you have a dashboard so this dashboard will look like this where it will show how much physical memory you have what is the swap space jvm maybe everything will be displayed uh, defined here what is the version which you are using then you have a logging uh, uh, then security core admin java properties thread and the course right now in this you do not see any course but once you install the uh, solar and you add the core you will get a core and if you are using uh, the so site core then uh, the site if you are using the uh, uh, installing the uh, solar by using the site core uh, exe uh, then you will have those uh, uh, site core uh, indexes also here okay so let's see how to add a new core so in the core you might be having the existing uh, uh, cores okay you can use that uh, core to create a new core so if you go to the path where you, you have copied your uh, solar after the unzipping uh, the download packet okay in that if you go to the server and then slash uh, solar then you will see all the cores here okay so you can you can uh, if you want to create any new core you can get the existing core and you copy it okay and then the in that folder you will see three things first is a config okay this folder contains the configuration files like solar config manage schema this kind of a configuration files will be there okay so if you are creating a new uh, core then you can update that files okay if you want to keep it the same then you can have the same configurations okay then data so data is basically contains all the indexing for that core so if you are creating a new core then and you copied that old core and you're creating a new core in that case you have to remove uh, this data because that is for the the for the your source code the data is for there in for your source code so you have to remove that okay then core property so this defines your core name okay so when you copy it like here my ctn underscore xdb rebuild if i am copying that then the properties uh, will file will have this name okay so if you are creating a new one then you have to give that name in this file so accordingly your cores will get updated so this is how you can add the new core so how to run a query on an admin portal first step is to select the core we you want to query so on your admin portal uh, the core section you can select the core so let's say an example site core you will have a course like a master uh, web index or uh, the other other indexes okay now let's assume that you want to query the master index then you select a master uh, index here it's uh, from the core so once you select that then uh, you will see the ui will change like this and there will be an option like query here okay so select that query once you select that the you you will have a uh, intra uh, a ui look like this okay here uh, you will have a section where you can add the queries where you can see here um, this part which is called a queue where you can write your query and then other things you can you can you can explore okay so whatever query like here i have put underscore unique id is equal to uh, uh, equal to star okay so whatever unique id with uh, which which your item has a unique id and whatever the id that we should get displayed so once you click on execute query it will display this kind of a result uh, here okay where it will it will display all the your uh, documents okay with a unique id okay so this is how you will run the uh, the uh, query 
okay on the uh, on your admin portal and this is very useful uh, like in sitecore project where you are uh, you are seeing that the data is there in your database in your, uh, uh, web and master database but the data is not getting displayed it might be the case that it is not indexed properly and the index is not coming then you can use this query section and you can query though the indexes and see whether data is there or not okay so this is how you run the query and this uh, query on the solar admin portal so thank you we are done for uh, today's video it is a short but quick video so uh, short but important video uh, if you want to uh, if you have any question you can reach to my gmail id or you can connect me on the linkedin okay if you like the video please click on a like button please share the video with your friends and uh, colleagues uh, please uh, provide your feedback via the comment and if you are not subscribed to the channel yet please subscribe to the channel and click on a bell icon to get a latest update thank you we will meet again with another topic another non psycho topic in the supportive pages series thank you